Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to record Minecraft with Facecam. It's a step-by-step -step process going over everything you need to know to get Minecraft up and running and specifically up and running and recording using OBS, which is a completely free streaming software. It's going to cost you nothing to be able to record Minecraft with Facecam. So uh, yeah, before we get on into it though, there is a sponsor of this video and that sponsor is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server from Apex Minecraft Hosting. We love Apex so much, we use them ourselves to host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com, which we'll be checking out later. So again, you can check out Apex yourself at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an awesome Minecraft server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, which is how to record Minecraft with a face cam. So first and foremost, we need to get OBS, which you can find linked down below, and click on Windows right here, because I'm doing this on Windows 10. Now on Firefox, you have this pop-up. You want to go ahead and click Save File. On Google Chrome, it'll be in the bottom left, and you may have to keep the file. It is one 100% safe to download OBS. Once we've downloaded OBS, we can minimize our browser here, and on our desktop, we have the OBS download. If this isn't on your desktop, click on the Windows button. It's in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that Windows button and type in downloads exactly like that. Click on the downloads folder here, and OBS will be in your downloads folder. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Once OBS is on your desktop, go ahead and double click on it, and it will open up an installer that looks like any other program installer out there. Just click next, click I agree if you agree to their terms of service, which we do, and then click next again, and then click next again, and I'll go ahead and install all of OBS's settings and stuff. Once OBS is finished installing, you'll have this thing where you can click Launch OBS Studio. See that? So let's go ahead and make sure Launch OBS Studio is selected and click Finish. Now, if yours doesn't automatically open after you do that, which ours will, there it is, but if yours doesn't automatically open, you can double click on the OBS Studio shortcut that was created on your desktop here. Now we can actually go ahead and delete that file we downloaded, the OBS Studio installer, because we don't need that anymore. Yep, we can go ahead and get rid of it. Now we've got OBS open here, let me go ahead and delete everything from my OBS so it looks the same as what yours will look like. Now when you first log into OBS, this is what it's going to look like, or it's going to have an auto configuration wizard. If it does, go ahead and we can go through that. Now, if you have like this and you want to get to the auto configuration wizard, go ahead and click on tools and then click on auto configuration wizard. See that? So tools, auto configuration wizard. If it's the first time you've ever opened OBS on your computer, this will automatically pop up, but otherwise that's how you can get to it. Once you're on the auto configuration wizard here, we can go ahead and click optimize for just recording. I will not be streaming. Then we can go ahead and click next. We do want to use our base resolution here, which is going to be 1920 by 1080. And then we want to make sure it's either 60 or 30 FPS, but prefer 60. Then we want to go ahead and click next and everything else should be able to be left the same. The only thing that will honestly be different on yours is the quality may be a bit different and the recording encoder may be different depending if you have an NVIDIA graphics card or not. I do. So I use NVEC. If you don't, you'll probably use H.264 or something like that. Now we can go ahead and click apply settings here and it will be done. Basically now your settings are set. We're not quite done yet though. We want to go down to settings in the bottom right down here. See that? Click on that and then you can come here to where it says audio. Then we want to select our microphone right here. See that? See mic audio device. We want to select our microphone and then after we've done that, we can go ahead and click apply and then come over here to output where we want to find our recording format right down here. See where this is MP4? Yours will most likely say FLV. You want to click on MP4 there. It's going to give you a warning, but that is perfectly okay. Then go ahead and click apply and click okay. Now we need to add Minecraft. To do this, we need to open up the Minecraft launcher here. And it is important that you open up the Minecraft launcher because we need to do a thing in the Minecraft launcher real quick before we get Minecraft up and recording. What we want to do is click on the three lines up here until we can see the launch options tab. Click on that. That. And then for whatever you're going to be playing on, for me, I'm just going to be playing on latest release here. You want to click the resolution box and set that to this, 1920 by 1080. That's going to allow us to record at 1080p resolution, which was the base resolution we set earlier. Go ahead and click save here. And now we can go back over to news, make sure latest release is what we're playing, and it is. And then go ahead and click play, and it'll go ahead and launch into Minecraft in 1080p, making it super easy for us to add it and record Minecraft. So once we're on the main menu here, we'll go back over to OBS to get everything set up as far as recording goes. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can come back over to OBS, click on sources here, and then click on the little plus button on sources. We then want to go down to game capture, and then we can title this whatever. I'm just going to title it Minecraft 
then click OK. Then for our mode here, we actually don't want to capture a full screen application because Minecraft isn't full screen. See that? What we want to do is actually capture specific window. For our specific window, we want to select Minecraft 1.13 or whatever version of Minecraft it is. It should just say Minecraft. Once we've done that, we can click OK and it should appear in the background. And because we set Minecraft to be the same as our base resolution, we don't have to worry about moving it around or anything like that. Now, I have to go ahead and do a quick jump cut because I'm going to add my face cam to OBS here. And XSplit currently has it because I have to record with XSplit while I'm teaching you guys OBS. So let me go ahead and do a quick jump cut and I'll let... OBS take over my webcam and then we'll be good to go. There we go. The face cam in the bottom of the screen is gone and now we can add it over here in OBS. We go ahead and click on the plus button down here under sources. We'll be able to then go down to video capture device where you can name this whatever you want. We'll just leave it video capture device and then you can click OK. Then on this next screen here, it will allow us to choose our webcam. Now mine isn't going to appear here because I had to add it previously so it wouldn't go back to XSplit. It's really complicated recording with two things. Review, you, just select your webcam and then come down here to resolution where you want to go ahead and make sure you choose custom and then set the resolution of whatever your webcam is. In my case, it would be 1080p here. Then you would go ahead and click OK and you would be done. However, if you've already added your webcam to OBS, it's a, it's a pretty simple process. What you want to do is come down here and click the plus button, right? See the little plus button? And then you'll go to video capture device, but instead of creating a new one, you'll add existing. And then I do have face cam here. If I click OK, hello! Whoa, this is massive. Okay, hello, how are you doing? What we want to do is go ahead and minimize this by clicking the little red dot in the top left and drag it down to the bottom corner to whatever looks good to you. If you want it to be this big, you can. If you want it to be this small, you can. However, whatever size you want, that looks good to me. Actually, that's probably a little too much. Let's make it a little bit smaller here. Something right about there. And there we go. It's that simple. Now, when you're ready to start recording, you go ahead and click Start Recording. And then it will begin to record Minecraft. If I come back over here into game, we'll be able to go ahead, click on Multiplayer. What is this? The best Minecraft server in the multiverse? Play.breakdowncraft.com? I think so. We can go ahead and join on in to this Minecraft server in the multiverse and uh, go to spawn. Check it out because it's the best spawn ever. I really do love our spawn. This is 1.13.2 Grief Protected Survival, by the way. And if you're looking for a place to uh, record some videos, I think there's no place better than play.breakdowncraft.com. I mean, look at that spawn. Absolutely beautiful. On top of our spawn being beautiful, we do have jobs. It is 100% Grief Protected. All of that awesome stuff. But nevertheless, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Nick. And wait a minute, let's go ahead and stop recording. And I just realized I didn't tell you guys where to find your recordings. Well, most likely they're going to be in your videos file, but you can double check this by clicking on settings and then going into output here. And you'll be able to see where the videos are output. You can change this by clicking browse or you can just click on your windows folder icon and then going to videos. And sure enough, there's the video we recorded. We can click on it and drag through it here and you'll be able to see that sure enough, that is play.breakdowncraft.com. But nevertheless, I will see you guys in the next video. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.